and thoughts on laser UST projectors ceiling mount in a dedicated room on a regular screen instead of ALR ones. So a couple of things, even in a dedicated theater room, because I asked this question, can you, or, or, I know where it came from, at Cedia, they were using, they had a dedicated room built, so fully light controlled, you can get that room pitch black, and they were still using an ALR screen with the, um, with the ultra short throw. And I'm thinking, why would you need that? And I even asked him like, can you benefit from an, uh, an ultra short throw screen or I'm sorry, an ALR screen. So think about this, the angle at which the laser is hitting that screen is pretty stinking steep. I mean, we're talking probably 45 degree angle. And so normal path of light is kind of angle of incidence angle of reflection. I mean, I know it scatters and, and bends, but for the most part, that's a pretty yeah, steep angle. Oh, see, I've told you, this guy knows. Well, this guy knows right here. All right. So, but pretty the thing is, but the thing is, is that it's, go <laughs> but the thing is, it's going to want to reflect not towards you, but towards the ceiling. And you really want all that light coming towards your eyes. Standard projector, you've got it pretty much, in line with the screen so it's hitting the screen and coming right back to you so even if you were to mount it on the ceiling i would still recommend an alr screen the weird thing to me and this is i haven't asked really asked this question because most people don't mount those on the, the ceiling number one you need to make sure that that projector can do that i've reviewed a bunch of them and not all of them have a setting in there to inverse that image so you need to make sure number one it can actually oh, do yeah, that I forgot about that part yeah so you'd have to actually inverse the image if you're going to flip the projector upside down. So not all those have that capability. But the my other concern is, okay, now you're up top. It's hitting that same angle. So a lot of that light's wanting to hit, hit your floor. So you don't want that happening. So my thought is you would want to take your screen, the ALR screen, and flip it upside down. But then the problem with that now, well, okay, no, actually, I think I just answered my own question that would not be advisable in a non-light controlled room where you got a lot of ambient light because it defeats the purpose of that mm. that light being rejected. But if, you get, that, yeah. but if you can get your room totally dark, I would flip the screen upside down so that those, because they've got notches. I don't know if mm -hmm. you guys have seen that. Yeah, the little stair step. It looks kind of like a mirror. Like, you know, if you wanted Correct. to reflect something towards you, you'd make it 45 degrees. All right, so that is correct. I was going to see if I can pull up just like a, a quick. Um, but you know what's interesting? With what you said is mm -hmm. the whole idea. You know, they call it now ceiling light rejection. Right? That's another one too. Correct. That's so a ceiling, CLR screen. CLR screen meaning uh, you're trying to reject any of the uh, light coming usually from the top, right? Most mm -hmm. people don't have lights on the floor beaming up. It's from your ceiling that is coming down, so it's right. it's going to. Uh, you know, prevent that light from getting to you. Mm -hmm. um, and it actually, you know, you're saying, why would you use one of those rejecting screens, AR, light rejecting right. yep. screens in a controlled room? Right. It's also because you're getting reflections off your walls too. True. You know, so yeah. yeah, true. I don't know how much I reflects back onto the screen, but I do notice that some of these are so bright. Some of these ultra short throws are yeah. so oh, bright yeah. Yeah. that like, so I've tried one here. I've actually tried it on a non uh, CLR ALR screen, mm -hmm. and it just starts like lighting up the whole room. Yeah, it's like so you like, almost have the lights on in the front so of your room. It's just when the, when there's like a, a bright white screen. Oh my goodness! Like everything's lit up. Throw this up there um, real quick. So I don't know what I was. This is what yeah. I was talking about. You can yeah, kind of see these little like what Joe's saying. The little stare. So you can see how the angle of that, if you didn't have that ALR screen, it's going to want to naturally bounce up to your ceiling. And so because of those angles, that law is now going straight across like this, or actually I guess that on the, the graph, straight at your eyes. So if you put it on the ceiling, you're no longer going to be rejecting light from the top. But if it's a fully light-controlled room, that's not an issue. Mm -hmm. So I think you're totally good there. So and also I think make sure make sure that the the projector has a mounting a way to mount it. But usually uh, you would assume I think I think they're going to have it. Well, here's the thing: if it's going to have the ability to inverse that image, they know you're going to be mounting it on mm. the ceiling. 
So they're, they're, they're going to plan forward. for that, right? Otherwise, yeah. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're at least going to have some mounting screw holes in the bottom, and then you just buy a universal mount. I would imagine. Sometimes Again, I, I just I'm, don't. I don't like to assume because sometimes yeah. the features there because they're kind of just using the system from their old other projector, mm-hmm. right? And just make sure, just make sure that there's mounting brackets on the bottom yeah. of the thing. Yeah. Sure. Mount upside down. Yeah. 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 You I can. think that would work good, but I, I like the idea. I think it's actually pretty cool to mm-hmm. uh, put a ceiling. Yeah. What they, what we need is we need ultra short throw ceiling mount. We need the ceiling light rejecting or the light rejecting screen, mm-hmm. but then we need the screen also be acoustic transparent. Yeah, for sure. You get that combination right there, and that's very nice for a lot of people. Bam. Make sure to check out our audio-only version of the podcast at anchor.fm forward slash daily hi-fi, or just go to your favorite podcasting service and search for daily hi-fi.